Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be making some cat butt coasters today. Um, and since I'm filling an order, I figured I would just go ahead and make a video about it. Um, I'm using, it's not quite 100% cotton, 85% um, cotton, 15% polyester, the big twist. This comes from Joann's. Um, I have some of the light pink um, cotton yarn and you'll need scissors, a needle, and you will need the number seven hook, which is the 4.5 millimeter. All right, and I have two skeins here because I'm going to be doubling. So you will need two strands. All right. This will make your coasters um, a little bit more durable. They won't um, curl up as much. Although um, most patterns that I have found, the feet curl up and the tails will roll. So what you use at the end is fabric stiffener and you'll just lay a towel down, spray the ears, the feet and the tail and lay a piece of parchment paper over it and iron it and do that on each side of your coaster and that will lay it flat so you'll want to invest in some of that all right so i'm just going to i'm not really going to entirely break this down so um I'm not um, going to break it down like uh, step by step, like how to make a magic ring or anything like that. So you'll need to know your basic stitches for that. All right. So with your light pink yarn, we're going to make a magic ring and chain one. And then inside your ring, we're going to do 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, and then you're going to tighten that up. All right, now to do the color change without having it really noticeable, I'm going to um, remove my hook and I'm gonna pull this loop out just like that. And you'll leave those two just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and detach my yarn like so. And that's all we need of the pink right there. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit too. Let's we'll see how well that does. All right. And now I'm going to pick up my um, two strands of tan. And now I'm going to put my hook back into my two loops. Like so. All right. And since I don't like weaving in a lot of ends, I'm going to weave in this end as I um, start working in my round. All right, so I'm just going to lay this over like so to where that's at the back. And I'm just gonna kind of hold that down with my fingers and then kind of do a yarn over and just pull through like I'm finishing off that single crochet right there. All right, and now each round is going to be ended with a slip stitch in the top of your first um, single crochet made. All right. So there's that. And we'll start each round with a chain one. And the beginning of each round will be made with a 
single crochet in the same stitch as your chain. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take my tail here, and this is where I'm going to work it in. Okay, now, a lot of the patterns I had tried, um, once you started working in your rounds, um, they kind of started to weave and make this odd shape. So I kind of had to rework the pattern to where it lay, laid flat because they, they just weren't working for me. Um, so normally you would increase all the way around and with 10 single crochets in your ring, normally you would end up with 20 if you were increasing all the way around. But what we want is only 14. So we're gonna work 14 single crochets and you can do this in any way. Um, what I usually start off with is my first single crochet in the same stitch as my chain. And then in my next stitch, I usually put an increase, which is two singles. So there's my three single crochets. And then from there, we're just gonna make sure that we end up with 14 at the end of our round. So we got one, two, three, there's four. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I always like to end my last one with just a single one in it, not an increase. So there's our 14 single crochets. And then we're going to slip stitch in the top of our first single. And I just always double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. All right, from here, chain one, and we're going to single crochet in that same stitch. Okay, now from here, we're gonna single and then increase. Another single and then an increase. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So single crochet and then an increase. Single crochet, increase. After increase, last increase, we're going to slip stitch in the top of that first single crochet made. Chain one, put our first single crochet in the same stitch, make a single crochet in the next stitch, and then an increase. So then for this round, it's going to be single crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase. Single crochet in the next two and an increase all the way around. That's one, two, And everybody writes out their patterns differently. I find 
writing them out in this manner makes them, to me, a little bit more understandable. Stitch. Okay, chain one. Okay, so in that row we had two singles and an increase. So this row is going to be three single crochets and an increase. So there's one, two, three, increase. And then one, two, three, increase, and we're going to do that all the way around. stitch chain one okay and this will be our last um, increase round so that row was three with an increase so now this one's going to be four single crochets and an increase so we have one two three Four, increase, one, two, three, four, increase, and we'll do that all the way around. <coughs> All right, now there is, well, the back side. 
All right, so now we're going to, from right here, we're going to make the tail. And we're gonna come up, put in a little curve, and work our way back down. Then we will slip stitch around. We're going to make two feet, slip stitch around, and then we are going to create the head, okay? So from right here, we're going to chain 18. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Alright, second chain from the hook, put a slip stitch in. And the next two stitches, single crochet in each one. There's one and two. Okay, next stitch, put an increase. And in the next one as well. And then one more increase. And that's gonna put your curve in the tail. And now give me 10 single crochets, not all in the same stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, All right, now you will have one stitch left and we want that, that's fine. All right, so now you're gonna skip this stitch on the cat's body and you're going to slip stitch into the next. And it's going to attach the cat's tail to the body. All right, so now we are going to slip stitch 16 times. So there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 15, and 16. And it's going to look like it's way off too far and you're gonna be like, I ain't gonna be right, but just trust the process. All right, from here, you're going to chain six. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Single crochet in the next, half double crochet in the next, and then another half double crochet in the next. You will have one remaining, that's fine. Skip the stitch that's on the body, and you're going to sing, or I'm sorry, not single crochet, you're going to slip stitch in the one next to it. So skip it slip stitch and then we're going to slip stitch in the next two so one two and from here we're going to single crochet six I'm sorry we're not we're going to chain six there's one two three four five six slip stitch second chain from the hook maybe Single crochet in the next, half double crochet in the next, and then half double crochet again. You have one remaining. Skip next stitch on the body, 
slip stitch in the next. And then we are going to slip stitch all the way up to the tail. Some pieces of yarn kind of get away from me. Gotta go back and fix them. Somebody's given these away as gifts. I kind of like them to look presentable. Especially if your name's attached to them. I was always told if something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Alright, and then I always put a slip stitch in that. Um, slip stitch that you made on that last round. Okay, so here's where it's going to get a little tricky because when we make the head, it's going to be worked on these back stitches right here, this last row. So these are your, well, this was your um, slip stitch right here. We're not going to be working in these stitches along the front ridge. We're going to be working in these stitches on the back ridge okay so pull this loop up just like so okay we're going to turn our work and we're going to find the stitch that kind of sits right behind the loop that we pulled up just like so Okay. And then we're going to take it and pull it up like so. And we'll just kind of tighten that up there. And then we're going to just pull it through that one. Like that. So now that's part of our working yarn now. We've just kind of moved it to the row behind now. Now I'm going to yarn over and I'm just going to chain one like so. Alright, so we're not going to work into this stitch, okay? We're going to move on to the next one. Let's see if I'm zoomed in enough. So this whole back ridge right here, because there's our front ridge, that's our slip stitches. We're not working in those. We're working in, I guess that's our single crochets. Yeah. And we're just working in that back one right there. This last part of the V, I guess you could say. So we're going to be working in this stitch right there. Okay. So in this one, I'm going to use my finger now to kind of guide like so. And we're going to pull up a loop. And since that first one we made was a slip stitch, now we're just going to start building up. So this one's going to be a single crochet. All right. The next one is going to be a half double. And then we are going to make a double crochet increase in this one. See how we're building it up? It's only in that back loop. And in the next three, one, two, three, we are going to make a double crochet. This one does take a little bit more time just because you kind of really got to work it to get into that one little loop right there. So after you made your three doubles, then in this next one, we're going to put a double crochet increase. 
back down to a half. Back down to a single. And there your head is going to start to form. All right, so after the single, we're going to chain one. And now we're going to turn our work. And you're going to skip the chain that you made. And we're going to work into our single crochet right there. And you're going to make two single crochets. There's one, two, and the next stitch, half double, and then the next stitch you're going to make a double crochet increase. And then in the next stitch, another double crochet increase, followed by a double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, followed by a double crochet increase, followed by one more double crochet increase. down to a half double, followed by, and you really got to work for this last one, that is a stitch. See how it crosses over right here? Right in front of that is that last single that you made, or that actually would have been the first single that you made. So that stitch right there is where you're going to put two singles. That's what it looks like as you're going to work into it. So two single crochets in that stitch. This pattern, you know, when I was first working it, it was just, it took a while to get used to seeing that stitch and, you know, trying not to miss it each time. All right, so from here, we're going to just turn our work, no chain, and in that single crochet right there, we are going to put a slip stitch. So there's one slip stitch, and the next one a slip stitch, and in the next three. And so that makes five. It's three, four, five. So now we have a nice finishing. Now for the ears, Again, single crochet five, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, single crochet in the next, half double in the next, double crochet in the last. Now you won't have an extra stitch on these. You're going to skip the next two stitches on the bitey slip stitch in the next, and then slip stitch in the next. Chain five, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, Ready? single crochet in the next, half double in the next, double crochet in the last. Skip the next two chains on the body, slip stitch in the next, and then you're going to slip stitch in the last five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And I apologize if you guys hear barking here in just a second because I do believe the FedEx guy has just pulled in and the dog might go a little nuts. All right, so we're going to pull, no, I lied. To finish off, we're going to do a little chain. We're going to cut that off. 
And everybody weaves in their ends differently. And I'll just kind of show you real quick just how I do mine. Just kind of bring mine to the front like so. And you see how they curl up? This is why I use the fabric stiffener. Now, mind you, when you wash them, they will curl back up and they will have to be resprayed and re-ironed. But it's better than you know, sending product that looks like this. People don't want that. <laughs> All right, so I, send, I bring it to the front and then I just kind of weave it in to the back, like so. And down through this and then into the body from the head. And what that kind of creates, it kind of kind of brings that head down a little bit into the body nicely. And then I just bring it back up so I know it's nice and secure in there. Like so. And then just make sure your rounds have stayed nice and taut. Looks pretty good. And then we'll just weave these in real quick. Don't know what happened there, but that's fine. People go crazy for these. In my Etsy shop, I put under the, some of the tags, I put um, gag gifts, um, cat lover gifts, um, and things like that. And uh, a lot of people have put reviews saying, you know, their cat lover friends are going to love them and this and that. So I believe it. I've made it for a few of my cat lover friends. And then, like, if there's any you know, fuzzies left over from the one that we weaved in as we were working it in. I'm just going to take that off. I just want to make sure I don't clip anything that is actually part of the yarn. That wouldn't be any good. like that. Look at your cute little kitty cat. There you go. Hopefully I made that easy enough for you. The more you do it, the easier it'll get. All right, thanks for watching.